In this video tutorial, we will discuss how to install Hadoop on Windows 10 in just 10 minutes. For the installation, we require three software applications which are 7-zip, which is going to be used for extracting the files. Second is the virtual box. The third is the Cloudera Quick Start VM image. The link for downloading the Cloudera Quick Start VM is written at the bottom and you can also find out the same link in the video description. Now follow the steps to install the Hadoop. The first step is open the browser and search for the 7-zip application and click on the first link of download. And download the 7-zip as per your system requirement, either it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit operating system. Now open one more window and you have to search for the virtual box. Right now I have selected VirtualBox 5 because it is one of the stable version that we have at the time of installing the Hadoop in this video. You can also install and download the latest version of the VirtualBox if you are watching this video later on. Click on the Windows host to start installing the VirtualBox which is one of the hypervisor which we are going for the Cloudera installation. Now for the Hadoop installation, we require a Cloudera quick start image and to download it, copy and paste the URL from the video description and the Cloudera image download will be started in a minute. And one thing to take care, kindly download this image without any effects on the internet connectivity. Now, first of all, we will try to install the 7-zip application and to install the 7-zip, you have to double click on the application which you can find it out on the top and the installation process will begin. So you have to click on the run and then go to the next and next process until the installation is done completely. Now you can see the installation is done. To start unzipping the file, right click on the file which you have downloaded and then look for the 7-zip folder and then select the extract file here. So the installation process will be started and it will take some time and we can also install the Oracle VirtualBox in our system in the meanwhile. Now for the installation, double click on the VirtualBox and you can see you click on next. Again, go and click on next. And here you can select whether you wanted to create a shortcut key of this virtual box on your desktop or not. And go on next, next and go until the finished process. Now you can see we have installed the Oracle virtual box completely. You can click on the finish. And after that, you can also see we have extracted this Cloudera quick start image completely and the folder has been created at the bottom. Now you can open the virtual box and we are going to use this virtual box for the installation of Hadoop. And for that, go on the file from the top menu, click on import appliances and here click on the browse folder button. And you can select the file which you have extracted right now with the help of a 7-zip folder. So select the file and click on open. After that, make sure the file format is in the format of .ovf. Click on next. After that, you will be getting the information about the cloud era. So this Cloudera image has been created over the Red Hat Linux operating system. And here we have given one, one core of CPU, 4 GB of RAM and try to give at least half the amount of RAM to your virtual box and then click on the import button. So click on import. Now the installation will take some time and I am going to pause this video till the moment the process is completed. So you can see the installation has been done and to start the Cloudera quick start image, double click on the same 
or you can also select the operating system and you can click on the start button on the top. So the operating system which you have installed in your virtual box is going to start and getting boot up. So as you can see on my screen, it will be started very soon. So this is this is installed in Red Hat operating system. So you can see the installation is done. So if you can see the installation is taking some time and if you can see the screen of this Cloudera, so that means you have completely installed the Cloudera Quick Start VM in your operating system. Now open the terminal and execute the commands like the host name which is going to return you a value that is known as a Quick Start dot Cloudera. So that means the services are running very properly inside your virtual box. Now try to run the Hadoop commands to check whether the services of your Hadoop is running properly or not. And the command is sdfs dfs hyphen ls and a slash. So it will give you all the files and the folders that are present in the slash directory. If you are not going to get the results, so you need to start the services and for starting the services, you have to write down sudo slash home slash cloudera slash cloudera manager hyphen hyphen express and hyphen hyphen force and you can see the same command on the window itself now this command will start all the services of the cloudera quick start vm and we can also log into this cloudera manager and this cloudera manager is the one who is going to manage every service of the hadoop here and you can see it has given me the username and the password and the URL on the top. Now copy and paste the same URL which you can find it out that is http colon double slash quick start dot cloud error colon 7180. So you can copy the same URL and you can open the browser from the top and paste the same URL on the browser itself and make sure when you put the URL, the port number for the same is 7180 and click on enter. So once you try to go inside this Cloudera, so it will ask you for giving the username and the password. And we need to put the username as password as Cloudera, which you can mention in the link. Now put the username as Cloudera and the password as Cloudera. And you can also click on remember me and go and click on login. And once you come inside this Cloudera manager, so you will find out there are a lot of services on the left hand side. And on the left hand side window, you can find out these services can be used for installing starting the Hadoop and the MapReduce services. Now click on the service name and click on the drop, drag and drop button and click on start. So the services will be started very soon and after successfully starting the services you can run the command sdfs dfs hyphen ls to make sure the services of the hadoop are running properly so that's how we install the hadoop so thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe to our youtube channel for more updates in the future thank you and have a great day